Hello, everybody. Okay, so today I am going to watch Stray Kids. And I've, I remember the last thing I saw from them was, um, what was it? Was it Maniac or Thunders? One of those. I think I watched Thunders. And the thing is, I don't watch any of, like, groups. I don't stand in any groups, so I, therefore I don't... It's not in my interest. I'm not interested in watching like their their vlogs. I feel like the only group, the only group vlog I've ever seen was is Seventeen, and that's because there's so many of them, and it's usually all of the things are very chaotic. But I've probably only been seen like two to five things vlogs or like interviews from them, and I feel like I usually watch Seventeen's interviews. I don't really watch like their day-to-day -day things but um yeah and ace i've seen some of ace's vlogs but yeah and that's about it and straight kids it's called case 143 and i'm you know i'm kind of excited to see what they did with this because you know they're one of like the heavy um rap group of the fourth generation right I, i've at least that's what they've been classified as because they have Changbin, they have Han, they have um, Felix, and they have Yunjin. And they also said that Ben Ben Chen also is a rap like a rapper too. So I'm um, so you know five out of eight. And Eno, Li, Eno, Lino, Li, I say Eno. Minho. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I want to see. Yeah, this. So let's watch. Can I watch? Mm, what is that? Let it go. Okay, Don't let me move This is giving very much and hype in. Right? That looks like somewhere they shot that music video. That wasn't his best vocal moment, but... Is that I am? I I'm 
I don't like some new hair. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't even suit it. I mean, I, I'm confused. I mean, I feel like this, so this might give, it's like a second listening type of song. You know what I mean? But I, I, I mean, I love, I like Stray Kids. I feel like they always put effort in their, their team. And um, I do, I think, I mean, based on like, you know, their credits on their songs, it's shown that Bing Chen, um, Cheng Ben, and um, Han has participated in the songwriting and the, um, producing aspect of their song so I feel like they know their sound and they've established a sound for themselves but I feel like this this might not be my favorite comeback from them but you know I um, the outfit some of the outfits I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like about it but um, overall I thought it fit it fits like their sound you know it's it fits within their discography, so um, I'm not mad about that, but I feel like I might need to listen to it like a second or third time to be like, okay, this is something, but first listening, I'm like, yeah, no, it's not really my chish, but yeah, let me know, let me, let me know what you guys think, and if you liked it, and if you didn't, how do you feel about Sigmund's hair, because I didn't like it, <laughs> but, and blonde, I mean, we've seen him blonde before, so um, it's not surprising. Wait, why I'm looking here and they have like a uh, be original, but one of them is has red hair and Bang Chen is blonde. That was in the in the original like MV. See if if he had red hair in the MV, that would have made a difference. I don't know if it would have made a difference, but like I feel like they should have put him with red hair. What is this? Shake his Han singing, doing KBSK pop. Oh, I want to watch that. Yeah, it, right? They said Han is like the ace of the group. And um, who is the all-rounder? Somebody's the all-rounder and apparently Han is the ace. I mean, I've yeah, we've heard him sing and rap and dance. Anyway, let me know what you think. Peace out.